The overall goal of this procedure is to rapidly generate large homologous recombination vectors that can be used to target and manipulate endogenous Drosophila loci. This is accomplished by first selecting a bat clone covering the genomic region of interest. The second step of the procedure is to clone homology arms into a homologous recombination vector. The third step is to clone genomic DNA into the homologous recombination vector using gap repair. The final step is to replace the genomic region with the targeting cassette. Ultimately, these procedures will engineer a targeting vector for ends out homologous recombination to generate unequivocal null mutations or tagging endogenous proteins in Drosophila through the usage of recombinering based techniques. Additionally, the written manuscript also includes a protocol for how to mobilize these cassettes in vivo to generate a knockout or a tagged gene via knock in. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods is that it can easily be adopted for multiple targets in parallel, and it provides a means for manipulating the Rosophila genome in a timely and efficient manner. To achieve this goal, our methods combine recombinating and gateway technologies to generate the homologous recombination vectors. In contrast to conventional restriction and site ligase cloning, these technologies are not limited by the size or sequence of the DNA, thereby facilitating the cloning process. While this protocol describes a method to generate a targeting cassette for gene knockout, it can also be used to manipulate any endogenous locus in virtually any desirable manner. This includes tagging a gene of interest, replacing a gene of interest with GAL4, or to generate protein truncations or reporter lines. To acquire a BAC with the gene of interest, which is CG32095 in this example,